Let's go get some wing stuff. Sneak, what you want? Shit, I want to get me some lemon pepper. I want drums only. I know you with that wing shit. I want drums only. Kesey, what you want? Me the flats. Flats. Lex, what we eating? Wing stuff. <laughs> Spray paint back at you with another video, man. The other half of it's time for that Coach for the Street podcast. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell, cause we on our way to 100k subscribers, man. So y'all know what's been trending. The big boss Ricky Ross took the biggest L of 2024. And the crazy thing about this situation, like I said in my previous video, y'all, you would think that Rose, the age that he is. You'll think that he'll be moving with a lot more sense. You feel me? Now, when I watched the show in Vancouver, Canada, I seen the show was slick dry. You feel me? The, the show wasn't lit. You feel me? It was just a couple of people reciting the words and stuff like that. But they weren't really feeling Ross like that. So I'm thinking in my head is the people of Canada already felt some type of way ever since Rick Ross been throwing these blows at Drizzy. Now, I'm gonna say this. Rick Ross off of his team that took a beat down for him, some wing stock, bro. Out of all things, man, he offered these niggas some wing stock after they went out there and got their head pounded on. You seen one was knocked out, who Tia Kemp was calling, whoever his name, Queese or whatever. They did him dirty. They left him for dead. You feel me? Big boy, about three niggas got on his head. He couldn't really do too much. But the moral of the story is, Rick Ross, you put your team in jeopardy. You feel me? You was the cause of them getting beat like that. Because for one thing, you shouldn't have went out there to Canada to perform not like us. You should have kept your original setting with all your music. Why would you go out there to Canada to pay to play Kendrick's music? You feel me? Like why would you end the show with Kendrick's music? You should have knew that song was gonna excite a ride or somebody was gonna get papped out. And you see what happened. Your men took a beat down. And the crazy thing about it, much as you call Drake a white boy, Majority of them dudes that was out there in the crowd, like I said, bro, they was beige and white. I probably only seen one brown skin guy. But all of them dudes was out there, they looked like they was white. You feel me? And they was applying that pressure. They was applying that pressure and you was walking on your tiptoes because you was scared. You really thought that them boys was going to wishbone crush you from every angle, which they could have did. It, you know what I mean? But instead, they took it out on your entourage. Your entourage caught the worst beat down that I ever seen 2024. Like, I ain't seen no, no, no security get beat like that ever. And now all of these people that you were trolling, such as Birdman, the whole New Orleans laughing at you, Tia Kemp laughing at you. All these people that you had this little smoke with you laughing at you. Now, I don't condone violence at all on my channel. I'm just reporting on it. But it's sad to say that Rick Ross, you was the cause of your boys catching that ultimate beatdown by some beige dudes. And for you to, after the situation, for you to go take, I mean, put it on your story, putting the camera on everybody, asking everybody what they want something to eat, bro. You mean to tell me after them niggas catching cartoon knots getting beat up by all these different people, all you got to offer is some wing stock or a bottle of Bel Air? I hope them dudes ain't going out bad like that anyway. But on another note, you really need to fire them boys. I don't know if them was your immediate homeboys, but I know you needed professional security, especially if you plan on performing. I mean, not perform, especially if you're trying to play not like us in Canada. That's just common sense. But on another note, if if there was me and I caught a beat down like that and all you trying to offer me was some wings, this would be my last rodeo with you, bro. I'm just being honest. 
But y'all get in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about it, bro. How you feel about Rick Ross offering his security team to wing stop after them boys just got cartoon knots on their head, man. Y'all know what it is. Other half of it's time for that culture for the street. The latch off the door is on the floor, man. We're in these YouTube streets today, man. I'm gone.